Hello friends, welcome back. Um, today we're going to use prop types to define the props you expect. Uh, React provides useful type checking features to verify that components receive props of the, of the correct type. For example, your application may take an API call, which means like an application programming call, interface call, that just means uh, that your API, ha so you're making a request to, your, to the uh, app that you're building. And that means, so your application may take an API call to retrieve data that you expect to be an array, which is then passed to a component as a prop. You can set prop types on the component to require the data to be, the, uh, to be of type array. This will throw an, a useful warning when data is of any other type. So for example, if somebody makes an API call and um, it's, they've passed a string as the um, body of the, of the API request, <clears throat> uh, G React wants to make an error and say, we can't process a string, you're supposed to send us an array. It's considered a best practice to set prop types when you know the type of prop ahead of time. You can define prop types properly for a component in the same way you define default props. Doing this will check that props of a given key are present with a given type. Here's an example to require the type function for a prop called handle click. So what they're saying is here's an example where we're going to require the uh, uh, prop with the type of function rather than array or string, like I said in the last one, for this handle click. Uh, so my component dot prop types handle click prop types dot function dot is required. So they're basically just saying um, that the yeah handle click should be of the type function and it's required that it is that. Um, in this example above prop types type function part checks the handle click is checks that handle click is a function. Adding is required tells React to handle that that handle click is required property for that component. So handle click is a required property for that component. This also checks to see that my component uh, has a, a property of handle click which is required. Uh, you will see a warning if that prop isn't provided. Also notice that function, yeah, you will see a warning if that prop isn't provided. What does that mean? That means if you try to save a my component um, without having a handle click property on there, you'll see an error before it will save. <clears throat> so also notice that function represents function. Uh, among the seven JavaScript primitive types, function and boolean, written as bool, are the only two that have unusual spelling. In addition to the primitive types, there are other types available. For example, you can check that a prop is a React element. Please refer to the documentation for all other options. As of React 15, prototypes is important independently from React, like this, import pro prop types from prop types. So what they're saying is, as of the new one, you need, actually need to add import prop types, prop types at the top of the page if you are to use uh, prop types. Uh, so we define prop types for items component to require quantity as a prop and verify that it is of type number. Define prop types for the items. So this is items prop types. And so what we want to do here is ensure that we're using that. So we want to say um, items dot uh, prop types. And you want to make sure you don't do a lowercase t like I just did. And we want to say we want to ensure that uh, quantity quantity <coughs> uh, dot number right because we're, this up here our example uses dot function but we want to use dot number for perhaps integer but I'm going to use number for now and then we want to say that is a type of number quantity dot number and then I think is required and we want to make sure that we put this within a object so we're going to go like that Unexpected token, comma, quantity. Quantity. Oh, okay, here's what I'm saying. Instead of here, what we need to do is make this an object like that. Number is not required, not defined. Type of number. 
Oh, I need to say um, prop types in here. So in between here. Okay, cool. And so let's just keep keep maintain our spacing. We're basically passing an object. We're saying items dot prop types. We're passing in this object and we're setting it equal to where the quantity. <clears throat> and then we're saying the um, overall the global um, object of prop types dot number dot is required. So we're saying that it, this needs to be a number. And uh, yeah, there's no semicolon here because we're we're illustrating an object. If we were to do another thing, like say, um, like the quantity of items, yeah, the color or something like that, and then we could go prop types dot color dot uh, dot is required. And then when you get an error, it says cannot read property is required of undefined. So because color is not uh, one, then it won't work but that makes sense because there's no we're not defining it anywhere so requiring it doesn't make any sense um, yeah I'm just trying to talk about this just a little bit more so it makes a little bit more sense uh, to you guys so yeah about um, if we run the test I think that passes cool so yeah but this is basically just trying to make your applications um, more rigid it, it makes your makes it so you have to pass in the right parameters when you're working with these objects so I hope that helps and we'll see you guys in the next lesson